What's up everyone? So I've had a few requests to do some more guild battles, but I wanted to wait until we pulled a guild that is on a little bit more of our level, because sometimes we get pushed down, very far down, so right now we're at rank 2, but uh, we've been hit 8 times so far this week, and we've been pushed down in the rankings quite low before, like around the 50 range, just for like half a day, and we tend to pull some lower guilds there, and it's not as fun to watch, so I decided to do a guild battle video on this one. We'll see how it goes. We're going to try to work this out. I've got a few targets in mind and uh, hopefully hopefully we don't lose. We're going to do Goku first and the reason we want to do Goku first at least is because we have the monsters to counter I feel like him. His Praha very fast right? His Praha is very fast. I'm pretty sure his Pernit's got like 100% crit rate and his Galleon could in fact wreck us. So I think what we're going to do to counter that in return is I don't I actually don't have Verad ruined up all the way otherwise I would use him that'd be something I would definitely want to use but I think we're gonna go something more along the lines of Orion Praha Poseidon type deal I'm hoping that this will work out the way that I'm hoping it'll work out uh, but I'm not quite certain yeah 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 let's we're gonna switch it up because I think we could do something different the first defense there is no uh, buff removal so we should be good as long as his Orion doesn't get lucky. If his Orion does get lucky, then we might get screwed. Ooh. Um, Sierra. What's Sierra gonna do? Yep, we got screwed. Ah, that's unfortunate. So, when Orion buff removals on a unit, we can actually get screwed because then Sierra can follow up with another unit. So we did lose the unit and there's not much we could have done. But what we can do is uh, finish off by killing Sierra. Now we're probably going to get reset here by Zyros. Uh, are we going to get killed? No, we're not. So we're good in that way. And then we can just finish up. So we did lose Teor. That really sucks, but uh, nothing we can do with the RNG factor in there. But oh well, not too big of a deal. We can just clean up the win really quick. Next uh, round, we have a very fast, very, very, very fast Praha. His Praha derped. So I'm going to save the second skill because I want to. I would basically want to take away his attack buff if he ever gets it. And then we're going to just snipe that Galleon. I don't want his uh, attack buff and defense break stuff to go... Ooh, that's uh, kind of annoying. Okay, so boom, right there. We got his uh, per uh, Perna stunned, right? So now we can kill that Galleon, start working on the Perna. Actually, we're going to not do that. We're, we're going to let that Perna stay stunned. And now watch right here. This Praha is going to try to heal, but there's heal block. So boom, she's asleep. Don't have to worry about her. We're going to heal up. And uh, then we should be good to get the first kill on the Perna. We're going to leave that Praha to sleep. Because that Praha could actually end up uh, stunning us. So, no big deal. If we can kill his Perna here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please stop. I thought he was going to get a lot of uh, violent procs there. Oh, oh. God, his Praha is so fast. I think it helped that the Praha, or the... Galleon derped in the first uh, whatever minutes of this round, right? Because, I, you know, if he had defense break, I probably could have lost Braha. He did crit, but um, no big deal. Pulled off a win there. I think the reason the first defense... Oh, <laughs> he just changed it. He literally just changed it as I attacked. You see that? He put in Oberon right as I went into the battle. So luckily it wasn't Oberon. Because uh, we would have not been prepared for that. We would have had to completely bring a different setup. Because then he would be using that ignore defense skill. And that actually could have made us lose one or two monsters. Or even the entire round. So, I don't know why he switched it like, right as I was doing. Maybe coincidence. Uh, Alright, so the next person on our list is EuroJ. Now, this one is a little bit harder in my opinion. Because he does have Sierra Orion. And that does actually give us a bit of RNG. That, what I mean by that is if the Orion strips immunity on Galleon, I'm pretty much screwed because then that, uh, that Sierra is going to pick off Galleon and then his Light Dragon Zerath is going to follow up with a massive hit. So that could potentially kill us, but we're going to pray that that doesn't happen. We're also going to bring in the very typical team, since he's running that typical tank type team with uh, Theomars, Quadum, and Chasun. If you do have that, right, if you have that typical team, I feel like the best way to counter it is to bring some type of AoE 
or to just bring your own type of tank team. So I think we're going to just try to do it the normal way that we do it with Orion. Sometimes I like to use Chisu or, um, Iona, but I don't have Iona rune per currently. So we'll see how this goes. I think the first one, we should be fine to kill it because there's no buff removal. It's uh, only RNG on that Orion. So pray. Oh my god, you see how close it is though. Like every time, right? Every time it just goes for the galleon. Straight goes for the galleon. So now we have to hope that we can one-shot everything. Ah, see, that that's very, very risky now because... Actually, he's not going to do uh, much damage, so that's not that big of a deal because he doesn't ha he has attack break on now, and yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, but he will heal. Oh, oh, okay. We're good? We're good. Yeah, so if he would have stripped immunity there, that would have been a big, 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 big problem for us. Now we see that the Theomars does not have... Or it has will runes, right? So it does not have revenge. If it has revenge... And wheel runes, and it doesn't have violent, and then in that case, he's kind of screwed. So what we're going to do, we put on dots. We're going to hope that this uh, Theomars is going to violent proc. Oh, it didn't. Okay, well, we're going to try to stun his Chasun, or at least lower it. We don't want to hit that other Theomars, because in turn, it would activate uh, Huadam's passive. But now, what we can do... Oh, don't get stunned, don't get stunned, don't get stunned. Oh, shoot. This is a tough position to be in. So we got two units stunned if we don't violent proc on Chasun. Uh, actually, we should be okay. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Boom. His, uh, oh, but now we are we are in a tough position. If his Quadum goes and hits our Theomars, we are screwed. And it's going to be a draw. And we're good. Okay, that was a very, very, very close, tight situation. Now, if you saw what I did with Wadham, I put on uh, two dots on him, or uh, continuous damage for two turns, and basically that does not uh, work with Wadham's passive, so now I don't have to worry about, you know, activating, activating Quadum's passive in that sense. And that's usually how I handle these situations. I try to put on the continuous damage while his Endure is up, and then hope that he violent procs, and then he kills himself. But, uh, yes, yes, I really hope that the uh, Theomars commit suicide in that sense because they have the continuous damage. And I feel like that is like basically the best way to handle these types of situations. You could bring Tessarian, but then he's weak to Theomars and then just creates a bunch of problems. I like to use, um, I like to use Orion most of the time, but I, th I feel like bringing a Reviver like, let's say, uh, Iona or even Beta. I know these are not farmable units, but it they just help a ton. So if you have those types of units and you have this type of team, it's 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 actually really hard to lose, you know, because you've got revive, you've got heal. With beta, you've got immunity, reduced crit chance, that kind of thing, right? So that's that's why I like bringing those types of teams. If I had it ruined, I would. But uh, that's Euro's defense. His first one, quite scary, right? Uh, if, if Orion removes immunity on some type of monster, his Sierra is going to follow up on it, and that just kind of sucks because then you're going to lose Galleon most likely. <laughs> Uh, and then his Zerath, of course, just has insane amount of damage because Zerath is Zerath with the highest base HP in the game. And to top it all off, the last person we're hitting is Pandopedia. Now, if you guys hang out in Channel 65, I'm sure some of you know him, but uh, we're going to hit his defense mainly because I like I like his defense. It has more RNG in it. Boom, resistance. Oh, that is just amazing. So we should be good here as long as he doesn't get too many violent procs. Chill, Sierra. Please chill. And uh, we should be able to finish this up all right. So if you guys notice, a lot of these teams are like Sierra, Orion, and then some kind of third AoE monster. Sometimes it's Zerath, sometimes it's Zyros, that kind of thing. And I've noticed that these things, at least towards me, they don't really have much success. They only have success if Orion removes one of the immunity effects. And, that's, and especially only on one of the water monsters, right? And I find that true because... It's, it's one of those RNG things that just kind of comes along with, of course, having Sierra and Orion on the same team. Uh, so we're going to do the same uh, thing here, except we're going to have Konami in here to research. We definitely need to research. Ooh, actually, you know what? It probably didn't matter that we did that because, yeah, his, uh, gosh, his Theo Mars is going to do that anyways. <sighs> All right, what are we going to do here? We can still heal. So what I'm... Oh, no! Oh... We got screwed. Our Theomars just violent proc Uh We might be able to pull off the win if we can get... Uh, actually, I don't know. I mean, we're going to fight it off to the end. 
I don't think there, I don't actually think there's anything we can do. His uh, Perna is going to constantly be healing up. Yeah, no, no, we lost this. So his Perna is going to be healing up his uh, Huatum, and then in that turn I can't kill him. So what happened on this one was my Theomar's Violent Proct with Dots, and I ended up killing him, and that actually screwed me over because I was ready to heal him right after. I, what I probably should have done is cleanse and then just let his uh, Endure proc or whatever, so that way I could have healed him right after, but it's unfortunate. I see a lot of these teams where Theomars, Perna, and Wadam, and it works for the most part. If you do bring Oblivion with Tessarian, that's a good counter, but of course I don't have Tessarian. Oh, wait, we hit Jean Chi. Whoops. Uh, this is not Pandopedia. I totally cl clicked on the wrong one. Whoops. All right, well... That was a good defense on the second one. First one, typical defense, Sierra, Orion, and then, of course, an AoE unit. And I just don't find them threatening. I don't find them threatening in the very least, unless Orion removes immunity. And that's just because Sierra's there to basically give some kind of counter. In the same sense that if they had Perna there with, you know, Galleon or something like that, or even, like, Sekhmet, that could be kind of scary, too, because it removes any shield effects and stuff like that. And then you could be prone to being one-shot. And that's just kind of the gist of it. Orion big deal here in guild wars super rng based um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh guild wars if you guys want to see more like it um i don't know what's going on in chat but uh, i'm gonna ignore that for now if you guys want to see more like it drop a like and drop a comment i'd love to hear what you guys think if you guys would like more informational ones or maybe more gameplay ones let me know i just want to know i'm setting up a new setup i have a green screen going and i'm probably going to be getting a new camera here soon so i can get my uh, i guess my face body whatever on the screen and hopefully that'll hold, like that'll work out. And then one last announcement: this Saturday is going to officially be Noob Day, and we're going to be discussing PvP topics at three o'clock p.m. PST or Global Server Time. Essentially, it's it's Global Server Time, and uh, you guys could just pop in Google and look for a, a, a converter for that time zone stuff. And don't miss out because we're going to be discussing PvP and progression. And hopefully you guys join me there because we're going to have a lot of fun and discussions, right? Okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time and uh, stay tuned.